Hoodlies, this is Sims Fall, and welcome to episode 38 of the Sims 4 Tribal Amazon series. Look at this hunky boy. From what I can guess, because it is 1 p.m., I'm thinking that when we left off in the last episode, we were preparing to have a market or the market open, I think. I'm not sure. I don't remember what we actually did, but I think that's what we were up to. So, with that said and done, Let's go ahead and get to this episode started. So, I think we had a Joni over here looking for some fish, which we already transferred over to the stalls. And since it's past 12 p.m., I'm assuming that the stalls should have already been open. So, okay, let's pop down the walls, head on down here. She's, okay, nobody's doing anything, tending the table now. And what trimester is she in? She is, okay, in her second trimester. So she's not going to have the child anytime soon, but we can mark out the price. Fine, we can go ahead and start or open the market. That is what we're doing. We're opening the market for everyone to come ahead and visit. Ouch, my ears. And hopefully, some of the women that we were working on last time, they will visit as well because that means that we can get some moolah. Okay, so Adoni needs to head back home. Why can't he go home? He cannot go home. That's atrocious. Come back here. He's going to go home and you are also... Was he working on someone? I think he was working on someone when we left off. Huh, but she probably left. Now, one of the other things I think is really good if we have the same females coming over and over again. You know, it's out of our control, so we really can't dictate who comes when, but it would be cool because that means that each of these males are sort of building a, a loyalty program sort of thing. It's really weird. It's not like they get discounts, but they are building up loyalty. That means when these women come over, then um, if they have a higher relationship and they're known to always deal with those women, then, or those women, then they can go ahead and uh, get them a lot easier and work will be better. And who's this? Aicha. Who worked on Aicha last time? It was you. It was Miguel. So Miguel, come over here. Let's ask to hang out. You can do that. We're going to get him. He's going to see Aicha and he is going to bolt for it. His fun is low, but hey, if you can get funky, that's going to get fun pretty quick. So he's going to... Oh! Oh, 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 oh. This is the, uh, this is, this is, uh, Shika Vlyer. She's the, uh, new beast keeper. Look how cute she looks. Isn't she adorable? She's a new beast keeper, guys. I didn't realize she had the same hairstyle. <laughs> As I like Ivy, but that is her. She looks really cute in my opinion. I like her a lot. She's got these beautiful blue eyes and just look at her. She's beautiful. And that's her little attire that the beast keepers wear. So I think that was quite snazzy. There we go. She, like, they could pass off as sisters in my opinion. They really could. But um, she's going to help deal with her and all those cool things. And then where's Miguel? Miguel, working at Aitra. It's pleasant. Oh, no, she's not saying goodbye. She's going to hang out with us. We're going to force her. Um, okay, she can hang out for a bit. Let's give her some tips. And do his bad outdoors. Become really good friends with her, you know? Gossip a little bit. See if we can get a friendship. Once we can get a friendship, then we can go ahead and uh, get a little bit more comfortable with her and try snagging her as a client. So talk about the cloudy weather. Express admiration. We need to keep... Yeah, this is important. Because in our eagerness in the first day that we had the market open, we kind of lost two clients. So we need to be really careful about how we deal with things right now. And oh, no, who's here? Who's joining the conversation? No. I don't want someone to join Layla and Quateria. No, we don't want to talk with you guys. We just want to talk with Aicha. Thank you. Please give us some flip and privacy. We're friends. Okay. If we're friends. Can we chuck a flirt in? Will she mind? Let's... Oh, shit. No. Nope, nope. No, let's not do that when there's a bunch of other people wanting to talk with us. Okay, let's give... Let's ask about her day. I don't want to talk with these other women. Go away. Stop it, Layla. I don't want it. No. How do I stop talking to them? I don't want to talk to them. Can we tell her to go away? Because seriously, we're working on a client. Just go away. Yeah, tell her to get lost. We're working on a client. We don't need you over here. Um, yeah, we just want to... No! Why is everything so difficult? Okay, let's add... Actually, let's add her to our group. And then let's go to the beach. No, let's go back here. Let's go here. 
with her. So ignore everyone else. We're going there with Aicha. Hopefully we can talk to her in privacy. I don't know, can we? You know, yeah, because we can't exactly work on her, can we? Mm. Aicha, can you come with us? Is she going to come out? I don't know. We need her to come out, though. Come on, Aicha, please. She's really not helping. Aisha, please come outside. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, hopefully we're alone with her now enough that we can talk with her. Thank you. We can talk with her without anyone else butting in. And oh, look, this is um, this is Vijaya. Hello, Vijaya. But we actually have more important things to do. Where are you guys going? Stop. Please stop. What are you doing? I just want you guys to talk alone. I don't want you to have all these other people. Okay, well, they're talking now. Hopefully, nobody else is going to disturb them. Compliment her appearance. See if you can get her a bit flirty. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're damn going to try our best. And I don't care if you piss yourself. We're not leaving. Okay, let's uh, chuck a flirt. We're going to keep it safe. We're not going to do anything unsafe and just keep it between complimenting appearances and flirting. Because the last time when we tried to even spice it up a bit we ended up just defending her so we don't want to do that no thank you keep complimenting her appearance and uh, keep flirting with her come on miguel come on you need to get this client down at least none of the other boys are working on anything else you you alone need to get this client down so he's gonna try his best it's getting awkward why is it awkward i don't understand why is it no, let's, uh, why is it very awkward? What? She was taking it, though. I don't understand. Well, go use... Ugh, flipping hell. Go use the bathroom super quick and then come back out here. Hopefully she doesn't leave. Like, come on. We're working on you. Why are you so awkward with us? Um, romantic interest. So she is... She's, she's shown some... I don't know if she's interested, though. Like, what is up with this? It's not like she's rejecting us, but then it's not like she's accepting us either. Come on, Miguel. You've been working on this woman for two days. There is no way you can let this go. Now we're going to get Emery. Emery to... Emery, you can do whatever you want, but can you please just uh, come out here or something? I don't want you to be in the area. Oh, wow. Look at Adoni. He's chatting with a woman. Not the woman he's supposed to be chatting with, but he's chatting with a woman. Okay, Aisha, first kiss, first kiss. Is that going to work? Come on, go for it. Go for it. It's awkward because Emery is right here, but go for it. If you, can, if you can do that, then why not? Hopefully she takes it. If she does, that means we're just one step closer to snagging her as a client. And that's 500. If we can do this, we get 500. He is earning us money. This is important. Even one client a day is a big deal. Like, think about it. That is 500. That's, that's a big deal. Okay, well, let's flirt a little bit more. It seems like things are going a little bit better. Uh, not confess attraction. Um, oh, okay, she's taking it. That's good, that's good. Let's embrace. I don't know if this is going to work out. I'm really nervous now. Everything I do, I feel like they're just going to... Oh, okay, okay. So we've built up a reputation with her. That's great. No, come back. Please come back. Please come back. We're not done. We're not done. Please come back. We're really not done. Okay. Let's see when she's available. Not yet. Seems like we haven't built up enough. Um, yeah, flirt with her a little bit more. Get her a little bit more warmed up. Hold hands. Um, embrace. See, this is him building up a client's hell. So once he gets this down, that means, like, if he sleeps with her today, that's 500. If she comes back tomorrow and she sleeps with him tomorrow... Then that's another 500. So this is some spicy stuff. Okay. Uh, oh, yep. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay. They're going to go for it. Hopefully she takes it. Yes, she is. <gasps> this is so exciting. This is like the first client of the slave market. Guys, are you excited? Because I am. This is like the first client. That means our formula is working. That's amazing. Okay, 
They're just gonna jump in. Okay, Miguel, you are amazing. He can only take on one client a day. We already know that, but this is really special. This is really special. Now, because he's already built up a clientele, that means if she shows up tomorrow, it's gonna be a lot easier for him to snag her. Now, of course, we need to put some rules so they don't abuse that. So we're gonna say that he can't call her over to the slave market. That doesn't exist, right? He can't call her. But if they open the market and she shows up, that's already um, a relationship has established, a client that has established. So she is basically going to be able to, there we go, there we go, 500 paid in services. We'll claim that at the end of the day. Okay, wonderful. I mean, we could claim that now even. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, what was that? Money. How much do we have? 19. And then it's 560, right? Yep, there we go, 500 paid in full. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I'm so happy, like so happy. This is so messed up, but I'm so happy. Okay, Adoni, I hope you guys learned something from Miguel. He went ahead, backed his first client, good on him. You guys need to look after each other, look after the slave market, and then when you're okay, you know what? It's not that late, and oh, she's a teen, never mind. Well, we can't work on teens, can we? No, we can't. Um, yeah, that was that was a teen, so we can't work on her. Adoni's out here doing God knows what. Um, nobody else around. But that was that was a very productive day at work, guys. Super productive. So when they have a new client come some other time, then yeah, we can work on that. That'll be pretty snazzy. Okay, Adoni, you return back. I think you can return her back. I'm thinking, I guess I could get the boys to go ahead and do just a little bit. You know what? Someone needs to be on cooking duty, I think. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot left. So I think we're going to bring Adoni back and he's going to cook up some, he's going to serve dinner. That we probably, ooh, vegetable dumplings? Oh, that sounds exciting. He's going to make some dumplings. They're probably not going to eat it for dinner, but he'll pop those in the fridge so they can have it for breakfast tomorrow morning. So that'll be quite nice. Okay, Isla, you can go to sleep properly under the covers, my darling. And Miguel is sleeping as well. He deserves a bit of rest. Emery wants to have fun. Right, well, there's nothing really around here that you can have fun with, can you, Emery? Mm. Well, can you play... There's a leaf pile. And there's a potential customer. So actually, he's going to just come this way. You don't have to have just a customer when you've got the market um, open. If there is people around the place and you're free, you can go outside and find customers, you know. So how we say the day cycle works is that at 12 like a.m. is when the clock ticks over for a new day. So if he was to, like for example, this woman, Layla, if he was to sleep with her at 1 and then that would be 500. But if he was to sleep with her again at 12, then that's another 500 because that's once a day per client. So there we go. Okay, so let's get him to vent. Even though I guess venting is not the best thing to do, but who knows, maybe she's gonna be okay with that. Confess fear of vampires, show your vulnerability. Yeah, there we go. Um, oh, he's feeling tired. Well, after that, I think you've introduced yourself to her, so that's nice. If she shows up again tomorrow, you can jump at the opportunity to work on her. But what's this? Oh, these dumplings look kind of cute. I like them. But pop those in the fridge. And then once he's popped them in the fridge, he is going to go to bed. And then Emery is going to come back. It's raining. He needs to come back to camp. He's going to go use the bathroom. He is going to take a bath. He's going to have some dinner. Um, and then he's going to go to sleep. And then when he wakes up in the morning, we'll get started with the whole routine again. And this, guys, is only until Isla Ivy has her baby. Once she does, then we will be hopping back to the Chitano tribe. Probably. That's probably what we're going to do. Hop back to the Chitano tribe. But I think it was a fun break in between to see how these boys work. And to be honest, it's, it's a fun way to switch up playing. It's I kind of feel like I've got little LPs going on, like different stories going on with each of these households. And they're really fun. But I must say, I'm really, really, really excited. Really excited. Like crazy excited to get back to, um, whatchamacallit, 
not get back to, but to play around with the Beast Master, like the Beast Keeper. Oh, I'm so excited for that. But okay, he's going to do the stuff that he wants to do. Wonderful. Tend to his needs a little bit. Have a, a little bit of a, a bath. Wonderful. Look at the water. That looks kind of cool. It looks scary. It looks cool. And to be honest, as a slave, this is like perfect for Emery. He's practically the perfect slave because he's non-committal. That means he's okay to be with multiple people, right? Yeah. So he wouldn't necessarily want to commit himself to one person. So this, this lifestyle, in essence, is perfect for him. Absolutely perfect. Okay, that's done. Go to bed. I want everyone to be going to sleep. Thank you very much. And then we're just going to wait for Isla Ivy to wake up. Honey, okay, she needs to go to the bathroom. Use that and then return to sleep. You still have a bit of sleep left. You don't have to wake up prematurely. She does uh, morning sickness. Well, she's going to wake up soon probably for, from morning sickness, but that's fine. We'll just have her go to sleep until that point. Oh, no, Yamuna Spirit's fading away. Maybe she should go and give her respects to Yamuna Spirit's. I think that would be nice in the morning to do that because we already know where um, her um, grave is, so it wouldn't hurt. No, go to sleep for a little bit longer. I don't want you to like wake up at odd hours. Go to sleep, boy, please. Well, he wants to use the bathroom. Yeah, go use that, and then please. It would be nice if you could go to sleep just a little bit longer, but uh, if you want to stay up, that's your problem. I guess everyone's waking up. They just went to sleep super early. That's fine. Well, he's going to go take a bath and then eat some leftovers, something for breakfast. Same thing for um, Miguel. I guess they need to wait for each of them to be done before they go and take a bath. That's fine. Miguel will work on whatever Miguel is working on. Isla Ivy, on the other hand, she's going to go use the bathroom and then she's going to come here and bath have a rose petal bath that'll be nice for her and she is in her third trimester okay wonderful third trimester so it shouldn't be too many episodes before she pops and then let's get her to eat some clean out spill food no that's not what she does she's gonna eat some breakfast and then where's Yamuna's grave it's over here isn't it this is where Vasundra was yeah and this is where Yamuna is so I think she's going to go and just um, mourn Yamuna, maybe a little bit. Maybe not mourn, but just strengthen connection to the physical world. I think she's going to go ahead and do that, pay respects to um, Yamuna. Because I feel like we should help out. You know, everyone in the community helps out with those sort of things. And if we know the spirits are wandering, we want to strengthen their connection to the physical world. So Odina is going to go ahead. It's really hot, to be honest. <sighs> I'm having trouble breathing in my room. It's, like, really hot. Okay, so... He's going to go ahead, grab something to eat. You can sit down. I know Miguel's a little bit disgusting, but you can sit down away from him, okay? That's fine. That's fine. Right, so he's going ahead doing that. Miguel, wash this. Clean up spoiled food while you're at it. What's this? A donate? Didn't you? What are you doing? I told you to eat. Like, grab the food and then sit down. He has issues, I swear. Okay. And then Miguel is still napping. That's fine. He went to sleep the latest. And you need to have a bath really badly. So actually first use the toilet and then go take a bath. Thank you very much. You still need to eat, my darling. Adoni, once he's done eating, he knows what he has to do. He has to go fish more for the day. Oh, puffer fish. Huh. Yeah, he has to go fish more for the day. Do I have anything in the inventory? No, everything was used up. Okay, I see, I see. Everything was used up, so he needs to get fishing. And uh, other, uh, are they going to talk? I wonder what they're talking about. They are just friends. It's not like anything bad should come from these two, but uh, yeah. What is he talking about? Is Did she relieve herself? Why are you clucking like, like, a, like a chicken? What is up with this? I don't know what they're talking about. They're talking about something, man. Something. I feel like Isla Ivy has been very silent recently. Yeah, very, very much silence. Maybe she's just thinking about the business and... Would she give Miguel a reward? I feel like she would give Miguel a gift. Because he's done a good job, so doesn't he deserve a gift? No, 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 where is she? 
I don't know. I feel like maybe she would give him a gift because he got a client. But then again, it's not like getting a client is like special. It's expected. It's their job. But anyways, with that said and done, guys, I'm going to go off and end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.